Around 138 packages have been released from January 25 to 31. In this video, I introduce you to the 10 most popular packages in terms of likes. This week, we get UI components for lots of different use cases. From a dynamic header to an animated navigation to a chessboard. But also functional packages are included, like a package to retrieve device information or to validate data. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started with the latest package releases. We start with a package that gets information about the environment of your app. With client information you can access information about the application, about the operating system or the device being used. This works for Android, iOS and web. Recently I watched the miniseries The Queen's Gambit and I really liked it. You don't even have to know much about chess to enjoy the series, but if you are an addict chess player then you will love the next package. The package Flutter Stateless Chessboard provides you with a widget to display a chessboard. The package takes care only of the UI part, for the game logic you can either implement it by yourself or use the package Chess. In the past weeks and months many packages for button design have been released. Today we have another package with a slightly strange unique selling point, but with a unique selling point after all. The package Shaped Buttons allows you to create parallelogram shaped buttons. I don't know about you guys, but even for routes I already know by heart, I use a navigation app like Google Maps. There could have been an accident somewhere and therefore I would have to drive a different route, so why not play it safe? Maybe you're working on an app that also has to do with maps or navigation. If so, take a look at Map Pin Picker, helping you to create a centered map pin the user can use to select his location and even animate it with map movement. For creating custom shapes in Flutter you can use the class ClipPath and pass your custom clipper to the clipper property. But if you are as lazy as me, you could also save some time and look for a package that offers pre-built clippers. The package Custom Clippers contains multiple custom clippers and different types of message clippers. Everything has its good and bad sides. Thanks to geolocation services, I can drive from A to B without worrying about the route. But thanks to geolocation services, I also only see content on Netflix that is unlocked for my geographic location. For example, USA content is not shown to me at all because it is blocked geographically. This is also known as geoblocking. But regardless of whether you are using geolocators for good or bad, the next package can definitely benefit you. This is Geofence Flutter, a plugin that provides geofencing functionalities. The term geofencing is all about the relationship between the position of a mobile device and a predetermined location. If this object leaves or enters the area previously defined by a receiver, an action is triggered. The position is determined for example by GPS, RFID systems or mobile phone and Wi-Fi networks. So you can think of such a geofence as an invisible digital border that registers and records devices in its own area when crossed. Next we have a small but excellent animation package. With Anim Navbar you get an animated and highly customizable navbar. If you are dealing with forms or other situations where you need to validate data, for example validating whether a string contains a valid email address, you could either write your own logic or you could use the following package called Queen Validators. Validate variables, forms and DTOs and make use of extension methods on string and dynamic types. On week 53 of 2020 and recently on week 2, we received some progress indicators. I have to say at this point that I am very surprised that the second most popular package of the week, providing a UI component, does not have any images in the documentation. Therefore I would like to make an appeal to the developers who may be watching, please always provide images. Not only does it make my job easier, but it also helps users to get a quick overview just by seeing the pictures. Anyway, with Progress Indicator you get a collection of custom progress indicators. 
And here we come to the number one of the week, which is Sliver Header Delegate. Providing a flexible Sliver Header Delegate that allows you to easily customize your Sliver Header. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if so, I would greatly appreciate your support by liking and sharing it. And if you want to see more content like this and get notified, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Any feedback, questions or thoughts are greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a wonderful week and see you soon.